Between the morning flooding and afternoon winds, many areas are dealing with damage tonight. Eyewitness News Ann Powell visited an Evansville home that was damaged by strong winds. We've been getting reports of damage across the tri-state, including here on Schneider Drive. And as you can see behind me here, this tree has fallen on this backyard shed. And that's just one of the many scenes of damage we're seeing this afternoon. Roads underwater. Trees on houses. Today's storms packed a one-two punch. The first line left behind a swath of flooding. On the Henderson Strip, heavy rains caused flooding in the right lane of 41 at Audubon State Park. In northern Vanberg County, Heading Road was completely underwater. Between the saturated ground and strong winds, trees began to topple over. Near the intersection of Powell and Morton Avenue, winds caused this tree to fall on a house. Branches are now poking through the roof. Thankfully, the house was vacant and no injuries were reported. The main line of storms also blew down a tree on this shed on Schneider Drive. Well, I was looking out the sliding glass door and uh, this just, it seemed like about a 30, 30 yard wide piece of tremendous wind came through and I, walked, I just saw it all happen. The tree took off a section of the roof leaving a hole in the ceiling. It was just like almost in slow motion, this, although it wasn't slow, <laughs> but it seemed like slow motion and it just went through. And... Don Schneider owns the property and has lived there his whole life. He has never seen anything like this happen before. You see, see it in other places, but uh, no, nothing around here. Reporting in Evansville, Ann Powell, Eyewitness News.